As of today, six counts now struck by the judge in the Georgia case against former President Donald Trump. He still faces 10 more charges there. The judge said there was a, quote, lack of detail that was provided by the prosecution around the dismissed charges. Some calling this, quote, embarrassing for Fulton County DA Fonnie Willis as we await a ruling on her future and whether or not she can stay on this case. This is totally separate from that part of the story. We expect we may hear something shortly from the judge on that. Um, and that came because of allegations of an improper relationship that may have been funded by taxpayers with special prosecutor Nathan Wade. Let's bring in Alina Haba and the attorney for former President Trump on the team on uh, several of these cases. Alina, welcome. Good to have you here. Uh, good afternoon to you. What's your reaction to what happened today in Georgia? I wish that all the counts had been dropped because that's probably what should have been. I mean, at least it was a step in the right direction. It goes to the sloppiness of, frankly, the, the prosecutors down there. We know that that's the case. And more importantly, that this should not have been brought in general. Uh, the attorney handling this case put out a statement that I think says it all, uh, you know. And, and at the end of the day, remember, we've got a prosecutor here who's currently being questioned about her own ethical obligations, her ability to even stay on this case. I'm going to defer to this judge to make the right decision. But today was a good step in the right direction. What do you think it means for whether or not he will decide to remove Bonnie Willis from this case? What does your gut tell you on this, Alina? I don't think it's indicative necessarily of, of his actions in terms of Fanny. I think that Fanny, Fanny, whatever she, she calls herself, she's got her own issues that are outside of this case that clearly have um, permeated her decision-making ability. And as I've always said, as my clients always said, we know that these were motivated by one thing and one thing only, and that's election interference that's trying to bring Trump down. And on the heels of, of last night, um, I think that it's very clear that the American people are seeing it for what it is and are going to stand up and not take it very much. I want to get your thoughts, even though you're not directly involved in this, you're part of the larger legal team representing the former president. But the first case that is set to go to trial is in New York City here on March 25th under Judge Marchand. And it deals with the hush money that was paid to Stormy Daniels. That's what the, what the charge is in this case. And that it was diverted in the way that it was paid through legal fees. Do you think that case is going to get underway on March 25th? And, and how does the former president feel about this one that is likely to happen before, you know, right in the middle of the election season? Yeah, it's a couple of good questions there. Um, number one, do I think it's going to go ahead? Well, really, it shouldn't. We have an immunity defense that's currently up on the Supreme Court. It's going to be made a decision that should be stayed until all of those decisions are made, number one, and, and we'll see what happens there. Uh, number two, let's remember what this is, Martha. Stormy Daniels is probably one of the oldest legendary uh, let's get Trump cases that we saw come out. Her attorney, I believe, is in prison or was uh, probably disbarred. Michael Cohen, yet again reared his ugly head in that. And here we go, years and years later, they decide, oh, guess what? He's the GOP nominee. Let's bring up this case again. We have Mark Pomerantz, who was in this case involved, wrote a book about how they didn't bring the case uh, against President Trump, and it infuriated him and drove him to the point of quitting. This is all about politics. Uh, how does the president feel? I think exactly that way. This is political. There's no place in, for this in America. DAs and AGs should not be visiting the White House and the administration before bringing complaints against the leading front-running uh, candidate for the Republican Party because Joe Biden can't walk and can't spell Bob backwards. That's not our problem. That's their problem. But it's very clear what the motivation is. And I think the president's frustrated for the nation and ready to get back to work in November. It, so, you know, everybody watched the um, real estate evaluation case and the enormous settlement mm. that they are asking for in that yeah. case. Any update on when that money is supposed to be paid? What's the latest, Alina? Yeah, the latest is the same. Obviously, it wasn't a settlement. It was a judgment. Um, President Trump has no business or wouldn't settle for something he didn't do. Uh, so this was a judgment by a judge that was uh, clearly had Miss James had in his pocket. You know, they the judgment was absurd. The American people see that the number is ridiculous. It's never been seen before. We we truly stand on the same position that the appellate division needs to step in and decide what's right and, and parse out basically all the 
the injustice that has happened to President Trump. So we're waiting on the appellate division. We'll see what happens. So I know they announced um, a bond in the Carroll case, around $90 million in the Carroll case this week. Any closer to getting a bond in the real estate case? And you're, you're right, it's a judgment, not, not a settlement. Uh, no agreement made in that case. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I, unfortunately, I can't speak to that. That's privileged, and I am the attorney, one of the attorneys on that case. But uh, like I said, the judgment's absurd, and the fact that we're even talking about this, Martha, is absurd. And I hope that the uh, the appellate division will, will do the right thing here, as we've seen them do a few times before. Okay, we will see. Um, always good to speak with you, Alina Haba. Thank you for joining us. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.